Hello and welcome back to more Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. We are uh, in this cave here. And uh, this is the part of the game where the game is really going to screw you over. Because uh, it does that a lot. And you should be used to it by now. <laughs> uh, if you don't know that this next section is going to do this to you, uh, the game can really get tough. However, if you do know, then it gets really easy. See? The ground's gonna shake. Another Hydra screams. And then a whole shitload of deep, of deep ones come at you. However, they can't fit in this hole. So all they'll do is stand there, trying to, trying to hit the rock, while I cut them down. And uh, it's really just a shooting gallery at this point. Because uh, they can't get to me and I'm not coming out of this hole, so I uh, screw them. Oh, and, and there's no hiding uh, either in this section. They're going to know you're there. There's no uh, option to be seen. And the music is done, which means that the uh, uh, ambush is done. And we can come out. Yay! Yay for knowing what's going to happen. <laughs> it uh, helps quite a lot, actually. And uh, we're going to get another one up at the prison. So, or the laboratory. That's where I like to fight, anyway. And there's another one sometime later, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure. Anyways. Let's get out the Thompson again. I think I have enough ammo. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll s wait. Yeah, we'll say I do. Anywho. Whenever I come in here, it should do it. Alright, good. So, as I said, let's just uh, kind of wait them out. There's no need to go chase them. They're going to come at us. Into this choke point. Or they're all going to die. You never walk into a machine gun nest, man. That's just the dumbest thing ever, seriously. I don't know what the hell you guys were thinking. And I think we should have one more. Yeah, here he comes. And their real their AI is really stupid because they'll run at you and they'll stop when they see you. Which gives you ample time to shoot them. See you like that. And the music's over, so we're done. And that's good because I'm cannot reload again. Wait the what the sh what the hell? The music was over. Why, where did he come from? You're screwing with, with the game. I don't, I don't like you screwing with me, man. That ain't cool. That ain't cool. Anyways, alien plant. Let's use pesticide on it. Or herbicide on it, rather. I think I called it pesticide last time. And if so, uh, that was a that was a slip up. It's an herbicide, obviously. That should kill it. Yes, good. And now we can climb it. Of course. And as I kind of hinted at the last time, the fishmen have a Yithian portal. I don't know why or how, they just do. It's just how that works. So we put the cream crystal on it and power that son of a bitch up. Come on. There you go. And this time we do not go to an alien world. We go to another location and get this. This gun is badass. I love this gun. This is an alien laser rifle. <laughs> And uh, it has the other benefit of electrifying water. And yes, that will be important later. The 
gun also has the added benefit of being a complete ass kicker of deep ones. Uh, it pretty much one shots them. And it also has a charge shot. Like that. You wait for the little, sy little like uh, symbol on the gun there, the little infinity looking symbol. They start glowing red and then you let go. And if you don't let go in time, the gun will overload. And you don't want that. Nobody wants that. Um. Okay. That's interesting. Oh! Oh, yay. I love that. I love this gun so much. This gun makes me happy. Mm -hmm. And I believe we're on the cliffs overlooking the door where we cheap shot all the guys to the holes. If you recall all that. Anyway. Nothing of interest. That paper looks like it should be picked up. It just looks like it to me. Uh, the one drawback to the Yithian weapon, to the Yithian laser rifle is you cannot aim it. Uh, you cannot, like, right click to aim. However, th that is an area effect blast, so you don't really have to aim all that well. <laughs> and I can pretty much blind aim this gun fairly well anyway. Well, kinda well. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go with kind of well. Anyways, um, I'm pretty sure this room's a dead end too, but we'll go check it out anyway. Yeah. Nope, nothing of interest. Nope. I don't know, let's, I want to sit back and read that book, man. Oh, Jack. You want to read all the evil Cthulhu to uh, mythos tomes, but you never want to just sit back and read a normal book. I don't know what's wrong with you, man. Anyway, oh, there's a ramp. Okay, that, that helps. I guess. If you want to do things the easy way. And I guess I do. <laughs> um, I think another wave of deep ones should come now. I think... Yeah. So we just get in this hidey hole again, and everything will be okay, just like last time. Hey, deep one, come here, come here, come here, so you can die. I think this gun has a good effect on deep ones because they're all water, it's watery and slimy, and it's an electrical weapon. Oh, poor deep one. See, uh, if you can pretty much upper chest shot these guys, uh, the gun will kill them. Which is helpful. So, uh, where do you want to go now? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I know. I know where we want to go. Duh. I was just screwing with you. I'm just screwing with you. I always know where I'm going. Uh, yeah. That's a lie. Anyway, I'm going to save it because I don't care anymore. Yay. Even if I can keep myself from doing a five minute segment of the game, uh, I will save, damn it. Uh, I need to get this done. Over with. Yay for heights. Jack loves heights, don't you, Jack? Are there guys down there? See, he's not going crazy now. Yeah, that's just completely... I don't know what the hell is, is with that. Every, every other thing, he could be five feet in the air, and he'd be like, Oh god, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! And then now I'm actually looking down at Cliff you could die in. And he's like, eh, it's not that bad. What if... Be consistent, Jack. Either be afraid of heights or don't be afraid of heights. 
this going back and forth crap is uh, really starting to annoy me.